Hello, this is Jeff from System Trader Success. In this short video, I want to demonstrate the use of the Trade Recorder strategy. The Trade Recorder strategy can be run in parallel with any trading system and it'll export the trades to an Excel spreadsheet. What I have here is an example trading system that trades the SPY ETF on a daily chart. Of course, the trading system isn't important here. This will work with any trading system. What you want to do is go to Format Strategy and insert the EC Trade Recorder strategy with your existing strategy in the same window. So at the very top here, I have my swing strategy on uh, the uh, ETF, and then I've inserted Trade Recorder strategy. Let's go to Format, and let's insert our name here. The first parameter is the name of the trading system. We're just going to call this swing 5. Uh, this is version. This is going to be the version number of the trading system. We're going to call this 1.0. And the caveat here is also you need to know the stop value. In this case, I know this trading system has a hard stop value of $500. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. At times, I know that you'll have trading systems where you won't know what the stop value is because it probably fluctuates with each trade. In that case, this isn't the best solution, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. For now, let's assume that we do know what our stop value is, and we do, it's $500. We do want to send this to the file, our data to a file. Let's enable this. If we left that disabled to, with false, nothing would get reported to the Excel spreadsheet. And let's just call this Swing 5 Test. Okay, so we have our parameters. Again, the name of the train system that we're testing, the version number of this system that we're testing, our hard stop value, and uh, we turn on our enable, we enable our right to file, and then the name of the file where this will be sent to. Now you notice we do not we do not need to append a .csv. We just put the name here. The software will add the CSV at the end. And there we go. Now the strategy is run, and the trade recorder uh, strategy has also executed, capturing those trades. Let's go take a look at the C drive. And there's our file, swing test. You can see what it appended here. It actually appended. The, um, this, let me bring that back. It actually appended the uh, instrument that we're trading, SPY, and it put the bar interval. In this case, a zero represents a daily. If you're doing an intraday, for example, you might see a five for a five minute chart. Let's open this up, and here it is. So you can see. This is our spreadsheet, and we have our columns here, as explained in the article on our website at systemtradersuccess.com. This can be used as input to another program, perhaps, uh, Monte Carlo. Perhaps you can do your own analysis on the maximum adverse or maximum favorable excursion, or any other number of things. Okay, so it's as simple as that to generate all your trades in a spreadsheet like this. Now, you remember earlier on I said one of the caveats to this, of course, is you have to know what the stop loss is for your trading system. And in this case, we knew, we know it's $500. Well, let's say we don't know what it is. Uh, this system is a black box or it's a variable. There's two things you can do. The first thing you, you could do is estimate what the average stop value is. And the best way to do that is take the his, trade station's historical performance report. Bring this up. And let's go take a look at the performance summary page, which is the first tab. And let's go find the average losing trade. Here we go. Average losing trade, 530 one dollars let's call it so what you could do is take that value go to trade recorder strategy and format that in the proper input field 531 
and then of course go ahead and run your um, run your strategies. That's one way. Now, of course, when you do this, you are not going to be able to compute your exact expectancy based off the R values which show up in the trade station, excuse me, that show up in the Excel spreadsheet. However, this is a decent estimate and it allows you to quickly build that uh, Excel spreadsheet. There is a better way. Now, this better way requires you have access to the code and are probably familiar with using easy language code. And that has to do with using the trade recorder function. The trade recorder function allows you to insert code within the strategy code itself. And from there, you can gather the exact stop value, have it uh, dynamically put into this function so it can correctly report the correct stop value, the exact stop value for each individual trade as the um, stop value varies throughout time. But not everyone is able to do that. You don't always have access to the code, and some people don't like to um, actually touch the code. So this alternative of using the average um, losing trade and inserting that into the trade recorder strategy as this uh, stop value is an acceptable alternative. So that's it for now. Hope that helps.